Hey guys, we're at some bluffs out here in Fort Bragg and I'm gonna take my stuff down so that we can go urgent honey. We're gonna hike down there and uh, hopefully get some purple sea urchins. You can see this is negative tide, how low it is. Usually this water comes all the way up to the cliff there is no getting down there at any time except for negative and today it's a negative 1.57 and that's about the lowest you're gonna get and we got especially lucky today because it was a negative tide during the daylight and They see all these urchins in here, so we're just trying to find the biggest ones. Now look at all these urchins. Let me use the tongs again. Okay, so when you're getting an urchin, yo, look at that sea star. Yeah. Then you're gonna grab it with your tongs. And just throw it in the bucket. I get they try and get the bigger one. But that one. Yeah, that one's a big one. That one's the one I saw. I think the tide's coming in, Mom. The tide's still going out, bud. But I don't want to be stuck in here. Don't worry, we're not gonna get stuck in here. What if we brought home a sea star? We can't, bud. You're not getting away from me, or shit. Ha -ha. There's a whole tide pool of them. Right now, because these are so invasive, there is no limit. So low tide was until five, but it gets kind of dark and it didn't want to be out here on the bottom of the cliff in the dark with Jake out here. So we came out a little bit earlier, still low, just not as low. So we're still kind of fighting with the water. But as you can see, there's plenty of urchins, even though it's not the lowest tide yet. Mom, look, I see a huge one. Yeah, you just gotta stand and kind of look. Look around. There's one. So when you're coming out here, you especially wanna pay attention to the tides and make sure that it's a negative tide when you come out because you're only going to find these if the tide is negative. Nice guy. There's a nice one. The rogue wave. <laughs> it's, all right. it's all right, just a little water. Okay. There we
You can eat uni raw or you can cook them and add them to like a pasta or something. Got quite a few, quite a few urchins. That. Thank you. hike back up the cliff. Yeah, the power of the red ones right there. Don't try and only step on the rock because the kelp's real slippery, okay? Our bucket is full. Okay. All right. <laughs> we made it up the cliff. Jake and I How beautiful this tide pool is on the bottom of these bluffs. You just have to know when low tide is going to be and know where it's relatively safe to hike down. But as the water goes out, there's beautiful wildlife down in there. And these uni, the sea urchins, are just kind of destroying our kelp beds and kind of helps to just go and hunt them. Absolutely gorgeous. So to transport these guys home, we just got some ice, stacked them on ice, and we'll take them home and get them prepped. Hey guys, so this morning I'm gonna be showing you how to clean um, urchins. What I have here is ice water with a little bit of salt in it, and that's what we'll be putting the um, inside of the urchins into after we get them out keep them fresh and keep them cold here I've just put a couple into the sink um, and I'm going to show you how I clean them I'm sure there's different ways but this is the way that I like to clean them and this is what works for me so for this part I use a rubber glove um, just so I don't have to touch them and accidentally get poked. So I pick one up and then have an oyster knife. And here this is what they eat with mouth. Um, and I just stick it in and then go in a circle and kind of just carve that whole thing out. And then you can pull that part out. So the other thing that you can do is take your knife and just kind of scrape away some of the spines so that when you stick your finger in there, you're not getting poked. And then I just kind of take my, uh, my finger and put it in there and then just kind of do a little bit of a sweep. and then a bunch of stuff will come out, but the stuff that you wanna keep is what's yellow. And then you'll just rinse, and that's what you're going after. Just that stuff, and then stick it into the salt water. Right, and that one's, oh, there we go. That one's totally cleaned out. You can just move it around and see if anything is still in there, which, there isn't. Rinse these guys off. So that's what it'll look like. Just like that. Now the reason I don't like cracking them open is I'm going to um, clean these so that um, the kids can have some shells. Um, 
and when you clean them and dry them out, all of the spikes fall off. They're